Restaurants and movies appear Amusement parks and ocean piers Or we're built in love by family Atlantic City's face A changing place Time to lead the way See the old become the new. Remember yesterday. Rolling chairs and Charlie cars, Ferris wheels and movie stars. For we're built in love by family. Atlantic City, my hometown. Welcome to the Postcard Show, the Little Brothers Postcard Show. We're coming to you from WWAC-TV, Atlantic City. We're going to put up postcards. This is the Postcard Show of Atlantic City. We want to draw you into your television set, into the front of your screen, and focus on the postcards. We're going to focus on the postcards starting right now with the great train wreck of 1906, possibly. John, tell them what's up, my co-host. Well, the train was coming in. They believed that it came in too quick, and it rode right off the bridge right into the water and the and inspectors the showed up. and the inspectors all showed up and here's the down here in the water and this is florida avenue here as it went across and if they made it across this bridge they got up into the terminal which was at tennessee and Baccarat boulevards where the city hall is standing right now here's the old city hall of tennessee and atlantic and the fire tower this would be tennessee avenue here and this is the guaranteed bank and trust fund because the railroad had to right away all the way up to connecticut and atlantic when I first saw that photograph, I thought it was in Missouri Avenue. I had to look closer, and then it was like, wow, look, that is City Hall, That's right up City to Tennessee Hall, Avenue, right uh, where the terminal was later for buses. And there's the guaranteed bank building. Right? With the top still on it. Now, what we want to do is go through a bunch of black and white photographs so that we can show you early Atlantic City, especially this one right here. If it's looked that close, which John will bring you in from the end of the piers in. We're this in. is the million dollar pier. You can see the length of it. It was enormous and it went way out. And here's Captain Young's house right here. He lived on there. And they let children play in the garden here. And you had the net halls here. And if you look back onto the boardwalk here, you see that there's no convention hall. There's the remnants of the Rendezvous Park where the white wood was put up there. And there's roller coasters back here and all kinds of things. And you notice it was low level. But right back here, if you look real close, there's a massive roller coaster, a big engineered, heavy-duty, four-by-four lumbered track 
that sat behind a facade of like columns. The way Caesars looks today, when you look at it from the expressway, they had a facade of that particular situation on there. Let's get a little closer on that, even down further. Here we have the ambassador and no Ritz. The Ritz is only four stories high. The first section's put in, but that's it at Iowa and the boardwalk. And as you come down here, you notice the ambassador was the fir one section first. They didn't put that second section on back here for years. Then you had the Chelsea and you went on down beach. And that's that. So we're on black and whites and we're uptown now. And this is what the boardwalk looked from Indiana Avenue looking west with the million dollar Young's Pier here. There's his home out here, a number one Atlantic Ocean. And here's where the net hall was. But look at the expanse, the boardwalk went way west. Here it is twice. All right, it's Boardwalk and Park Place right here. That's how great the Boardwalk was, and there's some of the crowds. There they are going looking up, uptown. looking uptown. This Park would be Place. the steeplechase sticking out with the steel pier behind it, and the little central pier, you can't see it didn't go out that far. And we're going to hustle through some of these photos. The Dennis, the Shelburne, right at the Boardwalk. There's the Shelburne. It's Michigan Avenue in the Boardwalk. There's the Shelburne and the Dennis. Very old looking. And then this is the new piece they just put on. There were two identical pieces like this one over here, but then they put this in front. And we have the Hotel Chelsea looking west towards Albany Avenue from Morris and Brighton. This is the lawn of the Chelsea, and as you head downtown, here's the Osden sitting down here at Montpelier. And this is the Chelsea, and this is the particular way. They all had these porches that the general public couldn't get to, but they were up there. Black and white are some horses on the beach uptown. It must be around Kentucky Avenue, I believe. We believe that this is Kentucky and the beach and all the horses and all the people gathered along the rails to see the horses. People. And after 1030 or so, when they hit the beach, sometimes around high tides, they would dance on the beach. These cards are good for the show of the apparel, the, the uh, clothing that the people had to wear on the beach. It had to be completely covered. The girls had to wear shoes and stockings and dresses and this. And the guys were not allowed to take these shirts off or you got arrested. There they are, there's the dress of the way the girls had a dress, nylons to the knees and skirts. And the guy that broke this rule and fought this rule to have men show the guy, is there a guy here? No, nope, there's a guy there, but it was not the guy that took his fir the first shirt off and caused right. a police disturbance. The I'll guy that, that took his shirt off and caused a big protest and marched up the bull or protest in that ordinance was Bob Hope himself. Correct. He caused that uh, protest. And the people were on the boardwalk. This we know to be Merlin and the boardwalk. And that's how the beach looked. This is way, way back. You can see everything is wood frame construction here. Right here. They're on the beach at Park Place. There's right in front of boardwalk and Park Place. You can see the piers up here, the steeple chasing steel sticking out. Crowds, good crowds, good cards right here. Pennsylvania and the boardwalk. This is a rolling chair holding uh, center, like all the chairs are in here. This is Pennsylvania and the wood. For the strand. This would be the steeplechase here. And this here was there all the time for about 70 or 80 years where the religious people actually... Where's that, that pointer wood? pointing to that show? I don't know. What show? Where the rolling chairs were stored. Where's right the pointer over at? here. Okay, there's the pointer on the show. Here's the same location looking the other way. Right, this here bandstand or whatever you want to call it where they did religious uh, situations uh, 24 hours a day up there was there even when I was a kid. So People this remember is Pennsylvania that. Pennsylvania and the boardwalk. And there's looking down Pennsylvania Avenue towards Pacific Avenue. Right, this here originally was a strand, a bigger strand was put here and this was known as the Abbey if people remember years later. This is the seaside over here. And the States Avenue has been eliminated. There is, they have a sign, but there is no street, and there's the only time you're going to see States Avenue. We've all Avenue. heard about States Avenue. They say what a marvelous street it was. Well, there it is. You can see how it was. It was very wide, and you had old Victorian homes down each side, from Pacific to the Bullwalk. Here's the Bullwalk ramp coming right down here. You had the St. Charles and the Rudolph up a few streets being put out there. There's the cottages. Now what you did is you got the St. Charles place in the boardwalk, and here was the St. Charles. And then up the block was the Rudolph. After that there was absolutely nothing, but then they put the breakers here in front of this and built the garden pier out here. Well, it's either Virginia or Maryland Avenue, and there's the two pavilions, I believe, but I don't know if the pier can be seen in that at, at all, but it is the boardwalk in Atlantic City, and we want to start flipping through these just a little quicker right now because they're, they're not the best looking cards. 
but they do have some sort of a look. But that's how it looked. That's how they line up and play in the water. I always had fun when the water was not really high, but the water had filled the gullies. But look at the crowd here. I understand mm -hmm. they look like ants. There's so many people on this beach that it's so wide. Now, what you got here is like North Carolina in the bull up here, because this is the seaside right here. What, what pier is that? This would be the steeplechase pier. Okay, then this one would be steel pier on the Virginia Avenue side where they're having fun, right? Virginia Avenue and the beach right there. This is the steel pier here. The reason it looks strange to you is this whole section here was open air. It was just had a roof on it. And then it later became the long aisle that you walk down in the music hall to get to the stage or pay a quarter to get close. And this was the boardwalk up there in that part of the town. Right. This is the boardwalk from probably the little bit of the middle of Virginia Avenue boardwalk to Maryland. And it did look that crazy. Uptown, Garden Pier, Breakers, yep. St. Charles. After they built the St. Charles in wood, they put this tower in front. They put this Breakers tower in front of the Rudolph, and they built the Garden Pier right here. You can see how that bullock used to wrap right around all the way up down. And buildings were getting built. Buildings were getting bigger. There's the train mower. That's how it originally looked. Is that a heavy look, see, on that, that one? wild. And you can see the mode of dress. And you had to be dressed like that up there. You got thrown off the bullock. Right. Shoes and shirts. There's the pier at the end. That shows you the construction of how they actually put this marine ballroom on the end of the steel pier. This place was massive. I was in there and saw... Um, Ricky Nelson in 1957. This was nothing but packed with people here. Well, in 62, you can say that the hurricane really, uh, I mean, the March storm of 1962 really didn't take the pier out per se. The barge, the barge that crashed through it took, took out. This, took this corner out and took the diving bell with it. And this is where General Motors exhibits were, and the stars would sneak in from the side and Check that lifeguard thing. Use that board there. There is the beach tent for Virginia Avenue and the beach. It was located right off Virginia Avenue in the boardwalk right here. As young guys, John and I started out at that beach chair concession running pads and umbrellas and chairs for Jake Barab. And John worked for uh, Stanley Warshaft a little bit up towards Maryland Avenue. And uh, this is how we do it. We flip from card to card. Here is more lifeguard. It's another beach patrol tent. Headquarters. Possibly around Indiana Avenue, because if you look to your left, you can see the piers out here. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. It shows how people did things and on the beach. When the tourists came here, they laid up on the roofs and on the patios, but check the airplane flying by. Save Baderfield. You know, if anybody knows what roof they're on here, you can see a plane here, the American flag. Here's a million dollar pier reaching out here. You've got the Shelburne. You've got the Dennis, the Marlboro, the Blenheim, and who knows what route they're on. Huh? You know, you have to understand what route they're on. And that plane could be trying to land on the beach. All right, here's the million dollar pier out here, and there's a plane landed right on the beach. Captain Young's house is right there. Aeroplanes is what they call them. I think this is the same uh, group of people being taken a uh, picture from the boardwalk. Right. Could that be the correct, uh, would you say million dollar pier? It's a million dollar pier. And this is that, is that million dollar pier? Okay. Right it's okay. Finally erected and complete Captain Young, uh, number one Atlantic Ocean, which All right. is now Ocean One. Are you sitting down? Can you move closer to your television set? Everybody wonders, you, you go through a postcard show set and you wonder, where's the pictures of this, that, and the other thing? You lived there all your life, but you never see the pictures. Well, here's one that'll blow everybody's mind. Hartford and the beach and boardwalk. That is the Austin looking uptown. We're looking uptown from Albany. Uptown from Albany, Tent City. It's part of the do with the United States Armed Forces, I believe, the it's United the States Army. This was always a military town. This is the United States of America. Atlantic City was their world's playground. And just like today, millions and millions of people came here before the war, and many, many millions stayed after the war. And this town uh, did a great thing for the war. This is actually the site of the Bally Grand. Yes, that's, that's right. And a parking lot, Hart's parking lot today. I want to bring you in close to um, Park Place, looking out of the old Claret there. Looking out onto Park Place, we like that one. All right, this is the Claridge right here. It was only a little cottage that sat back here. The first piece of the train where it's been put on, and here's the bulwark out here, and here's the taxi cabs. Oh, I got some things on taxi cabs, but there it is again from a little lower angle. Right. This is from the Blen uh, Marlboro House looking southeast. And this building here was... There's the looking off the board towards the Brighton Hotel with the Claridge Cottage there on Here's the Here's what the Claridge looked like. It was a very small cottage with a pyramid-type uh, round room at the top. And then this was the Brighton. 
And then this, this here was the brightener, which later became the back of the column. All right, everybody that works in City Hall, around the banks up at uh, South Carolina Avenue, North Carolina Avenue, here's South Carolina Avenue and where City Hall's parking lot is today, right beside City Hall. City Hall would use pointer? City Hall would be back in here, right now, you understand? This is the railroad station. That's how it was. And to this side of it became the Coonley's Hotel. Coonley Hotel with City Hall's Tower right behind it. You see it there? Mm -hmm. South Carolina and Atlantic Avenue is the even northwest side of the street. Boardwalk National Bank, Kirkman and Company was right here. And right. here was City Hall here. And that annex building became a useful apparatus Actually, for the city. Actually, if you really wanted to get fancy, it was sort of something like this. Can't see them both Can't together. Can't see them both? All right. All right. And here we go, we'll go back up to the boardwalk. Want to always have the flip-flop railway because this is the postcard show where we flip and flop the postcards onto the screen and we're going to keep it up with some black and whites. These people are upside down here. This is the thing. It's shot down here and whipped you around like this and then threw you back this way. And you can see boardwalk and park place up in here. This is probably about 1910. Wow. Okay, here's some cast members from the Apollo doing their Al Jolson act or something. You never know what they're doing. We have some quick ones we want to show you. There's the dentist looking up towards and at it towards the boardwalk from, say, what was it, Michigan and Pacific? Right, this is the dentist on the far side, not Michigan, the next side. This is the Michigan Avenue side okay. over here. This is actually the other side where, look how clean these places were. Sure, it's a nice the, the place. Street, the street is dirt. Because if you look at the how they built these, they really built them. Right, we'll go back a little bit with a different one. But it is the Nixon Theater, which later became the Globe, and the one wing of the St. Charles. Right. If you look behind this, you see the old cottage of the St. Charles sitting back there like that. When they gave everybody permission, they all built in front on their lawns that they used to have. And they got this tower built. And then what they used to do is they'd get the permission to build here, build here, have their hotel again, tear down the back, and then put something in the back again. That's, and, but uh, in this case, the St. Charles put another tower exactly like that right next to it. Well, that's most of our black and whites, but we want to keep this airplane in Bader Field and Atlantic City under, under score here so you can see what happened. They'd take off on the plane. They'd be using the waterways. They'd be scoping up on some big wooden docks, leaving and coming back, landing and leaving. So that's what Atlantic City was, the turn of the century and things forward. What we want to do is show you what it looked like looking down Main Avenue towards Captain Starnes, but before Captain Starnes. And we'd like you to zero in and get real close on this one. This is facing to explain. The boardwalk would come right to here and drop everybody right down here. And this is the location of Captain Starnes right here. And all the people would be here. And those planes you saw landing were right out in front here, like right here, landing and taking off. Here, this will give you a better idea. Let me tilt that. There Let's you go. Take that plastic glow off. You can see the boardwalk. It runs right down to the Captain Stars. And this is what, see? That's that back there. And this boardwalk went right to that point. And then actually the land here, the land here became Main Avenue. There's Garwood, that later became Garwood Mill. That's where they would put all the transportation devices, the buses and everything. Try Years that. later, Same they place. started working it up like that. The hotel went in, the restaurant was still here. This here is where they'd land and play, and there's the boardwalk on right down the front there. When we were kids, there was a boat that they put up here and made it look as it was crashing through the well, building. Here's a look backwards, the other way. There's the other way. There's the other direction. From the back, as it came around, you ate your dinner's here and everything, and there's Main Avenue going back that way. It was a big uh, high school in the inlet. It was called Holy Spirit, and they played at Baccarat Field, and there is Baccarat Field, with the Coast Guard station, I believe, on that side. Right. This is before they moved the Coast Guard station onto the other side because of all the rum running during the uh, Prohibition where they would bring in all the alcohol and the liquor and whiskey. And you notice this is an ice skating rink right here, and this is Gardner's Basin. This is the seawall. Athletics were big early. Atlantic City. We bring this color one in so you can see Captain Starnes. That's it, Captain That's Starnes, how pure look. You got on these boats here and they took you out there and then a guy jumped up with an accordion in the middle of nowhere doing songs and singing in the back of the boat. But you boarded the high-speed boats on this side here and you would take this high-speed power boat. If you can see the Captain Starnes, move this over here. Yeah, which way? If you can which see way? the Captain Starnes, there, there's the ship. Starnes Inlet with the big lobster on the sailboat. You go for a sailboat ride. Or what really became popular 
was this ride right here. Hello, and we think we know. We know people in this one. We've been talking to them. We think that this is the, the Innesis. Where the Innesis are right here. The guy They're in going front with his ride. elbow on the side third of the boat. Third seat, she saw one, two, three. Okay. Third seat, she believed to be right there, Mr. and Mrs. Innes and their uh, sister-in-law, and they're ready to go out on that high-speed ride. Back here, there's your buses lined up at Garwood Mills with it, when it was a car barn for all the buses and everyone would go shopping. That's Main Avenue right there. Isn't that nice? And I think that lady may be running this little airport here. We're try just trying to show you that there's where the motorcycle crowd hangs that we're associated with in that restaurant there with that flat white roof. I mean, the angled A-frame roof next to Santori's Fruit Market. And there is the Airport Motor Inn, formerly called the Oasis. That's why I put it on. The Oasis uh, was a nice motel. It was by the, by the Chidsies, and it was a fantastic operation. As you can see today, it's a well-kept secret, and we want to break out of that secret and tell you that that fruit market and that airport restaurant and that pool and motel is a great place to uh, meet people from Atlantic City. Uh, we're going to change the focus now. People have been asking, People have been asking about Rendezvous Park and how it developed downtown. We want to get on so these documents, these. and um, I, I, I want to show you this here card where it comes up near the ball. If you want to do that, John? Right, what we got here is from the Million Dollar Pier. If you look this way, you see how the beach is packed up all the way down to Illinois, uh, Albany Avenue. And what you have here is this white piece of wood, which were pavilions on the boardwalk. And there's no convention hall back here. And they're starting an amusement park there. And here's the Osmond. There. All right. There. You're with the pointer, right? Let me take the pointer a second. Left is left and Thank right you. is right. We're identical twins and siblings. Let me put the pointer not over the thing. I want to show you. These are the people. This was Chicken Bone Beach years later, right in here, what they referred to. We like the cabanas, the beach chair idea. It was always the function of Atlantic City. These are the pavilions and what they called excursion houses where the trains would come up from the inner city right up to this boardwalk. Did you say there was a rendezvous park back here today? Just pavilions. Not Just there pavilions, yet. okay. Down here, this one right here, that's at Osden again or is that the uh, Ritz under construction? My eyes are failing. That's the Osden. Okay, so there's the beachfront from Missouri to Lake Montpelier and Sovereign. Okay, I want to put another photo up which will show you the gig. It's closer now and start from this end over the, here. The white pavilion, with, let me tell you this, the pointer. The white pavilion the is right here. And if you look to the left of it, you see the Ritz Carlton under construction. They're actually building it. There are only one, two, three, four, five, six stories. It goes way higher, and there's only one tower to the ambassador. Later on, they'll put a big piece in the back here. And then you have the Osden down there again. Now I want to come back and focus on this side of the card from the beginning. See this part of the card? What do you got to the right? Nothing. It heads towards Million Dollar Pier, right? Right. All right. But the people certainly were enjoying the beach there, I might say. I must say. You know and then I mean? it started growing. Lifeguard boats. Got bigger. Look at all the particular boats on the beach here. And there's a big crowd. It may be a rescue or something. But here's the boats launched up here. And then as you see the pavilion, the pavilion again, they're starting to the rendezvous park is built in the background. And you can see what this is the scene of what it looked like west from Million Dollar Pier. Now as you get further up, we also have it again when you get closer to Albany Avenue, you have the construction of the president right here. And the Osmond's still there. And this is how the beach was as just as crowded. So that's how you went by there. Then, uh, I think this is good here because this brings you right up to the boardwalk when the uh, ambassador become two pieces. You can see, I mean, they didn't connect them yet. See, there's that center gap, pardon that uh, postmark. But this is where we played as kids at Chelsea and the boardwalk. That's the storefronts that run across from Chelsea to Mars. And the orange juice, man, you got the orange juice there. From Chelsea to Mars, that way, right? Right. And then. Mm -hmm. Here's the other shot from the other side to show you how it was put on. You can actually see how the ambassador, the second piece of the ambassador, was actually put on back here to give it all the room to handle all the guests for this bath and turf. This was the gambling casinos right here. There's no doubt about that, and everyone will testify to it. But that's exactly how it looked as you came down the line. Well, we have some other better pictures at the front. We want to show you the front of Million Dollar Pier facing the city. There it is. 
See, at those days when you built a pier, it was not allowed to be connected to the boardwalk. This is beach sand in here. It was not allowed to be attached to the boardwalk. That was the main thing about that. And you can see the crowds here. I don't know how they got on it, but they must have got on it. But that, and then if you look up here, you'll see the Blenheim, and this is all. This is the Shelburne here. Can't find a rendez rendezvous park uh, picture, but I found this one. There's a roller coaster up in under the facade of that building. If up you look in, in there, there, under these columns, like the way Caesars makes their column, there's a full. He went into this arcade this way. This is a full-fledged. Roll, um, what do you call it? Cyclone roller coaster thing. Roller coaster. Sitting it back there along the boardwalk. We can prove it. Let's get it over here. There it is. Look there at the size it was. Of that. Right back there, it was a big roller coaster that you could not imagine. And it came down like this. All right, do me a favor. Use the point of the pointer, not over the object that you're trying to show. Something like this. You see that right there? That is the roller coaster. It never. There's the pointer. There's Captain Young's again. Ned Hall 1. Net, Ned Hall 2, okay? A rendezvous park in the picture, correct? Yeah. Is that correct? The people that remember, okay. you have to be pretty old to remember. We're just trying to fill them up on history. 22 to 24, it burned down. Right. By 29, they had the convention hall sitting there. I can't find the rendezvous picture right now. But here's in front of the ambassador and the Ritz on the beach. And uh, if I got it correctly, I think Champ Hoffman's like right up in this window somewhere in there. And uh, he's in the Ritz. He's a postcard collector. And we're going to flip through some lower Chelsea stuff. In and around there, there's what this place looked like. Now, is that fabulous or what? That was the Chelsea. That's right the Chelsea there. Hotel. Tell them about the convention hall where Pinky was. Well, the convention hall to that particular situation is right back here. Now, we swam on this beach as kids. And we were about nine or ten years old, we came down here, but the cut through to get to the beach was neat because you came up here and they had like an artificial bulwark right here. The same way that this was constructed, so was this piece from here to here. You can see how it's laying in there. It was like a bulwark promenade and you cut through here and would go like this and then come out onto the beach over here. But what we used to do when we got up in here, Pinky Travitz in the, in the 50s used to sit right up here because Hi Hat Joe's was here, and were all college kids all packed in here, and he would do a show from there. It was actually he was up in here. Look at that Here's Hi Hat Joe's right here, and look at that crowd. This is the Ambassador and the Chelsea. This is how beautiful this city was. Look at look look at this photo here. How beautiful this city was. That's fabulous, yeah. isn't it? You used to walk it this here. It was about a 150-yard walk all the way back to the to the um, Marlboro House, and this was Boardwalk and Park Place, and this is the Madison, and this is the Brighton. Now the close-up of the Brighton going inside, it looked like that. And they may be taxis, not necessarily private cars. Right. And this is the Claridge is in brick now. There's the Brighton, and this inner yard here is covered by a glass walkway, an enclosed sunroom type walkway. And the paint in the street? And the paint in the street was for the gym classes from the Atlantic City High School, which later became Central Junior And High who School. might have been the and the gym, gym teacher, teacher? One of them. Was Pinky Kravitz. Again, we have but, to give them the credit that's due. Other people are always but, trying to take credit away from them. But they used to do work here. They used to at least do something and make it look good. If you notice here, it says something like uh, peace and love or something. I don't know what it actually says here. I've never actually read it. Have a pleasant but, uh, day. A, pleasant day and come to Lanark City and uh, and leisure. For and check out our leisure. gardens and hydrangea trees and other beautiful things that this city has to offer. Something wrong there. There you go. But well, we're straightening it out. Look how beautiful Park Place. The other side, the Shelburne Lawns. This here is where you had to walk all the way Marlboro back Blenheim to Shelburne. come right back to the Blen uh, Marlboro Blenheim. But underneath is how you left when you left the beach. That was underneath. That was all wired in on both sides and protected and the people could leave the beach and come back to the hotel, which was here. You can see it again right here, leading right back to there. It was a really a fabulous type area. So we'll stay on the ball. We'll just show you some quick ones. There's the ad for the Underwood typewriter in front of the Rudolph Breakers Garden Pier front. I don't think it's on screen. Let me move it over there. Anything you got to do. This way? No, the other way. Here's the breakers of the hotel, and there's the end of the There park. you can see it. it says Underwood Typewriter Company. It's right there. Those corners of those buildings are right here. That's right here, where they had the Underwood Typewriter. And as you went back into Keith's uh, ballroom here, the Garden Pier Ballroom, 
You got in there and they had big dances at night. In fact, the Miss America pageant was held here in the very, very beginnings. 1921. Right. Here's the garden out front and the right in from the Rudolph Breakers Hotel looking right into the plaza of Garden Pier. This is the museum now where Mrs. Miller is running Atlantic City Museum on this side. This building is gone and there's like a theater there. Okay, we only have about one minute to go on this particular show or uh, break. And everything's to be continued here. There's the ballroom dancing on the garden pier. That's actually in the building you just saw prior to this. And then we'll put the piers on that show the three piers. From the roof of the Yadden Hall. Yes. That's the way it looks. Steeplechase, steel, garden pier. And the advertisements? Yes. Oh, Heinz is there. Heinz pier in there. It yeah. says Heinz, garden, steel, and steeplechase, and the advertising signs. Okay. Uh, we're going to break. Uh, these shows are always to be continued. We want you to tell your friends, tune in this station, same station, same time, all the time, and we're going to be going through postcards, and we're going to put them up for you, and we're going to explain to you what they are, and we hope you appreciate it and tell all your friends to watch. Thank you very much, and we'll see you every Sunday at 2 p.m. on WWAC-TV 53. Thank you very much for watching. John, thank you. Take it easy. New York has its lady, San Francisco the Bay, Paris has its tower, London its queen, the town I was born in might change from old to new, that's something I must tell you. I've got sand in my shoes I'll never leave Atlantic City I'll never go Too far away I'll never leave Atlantic City On the boardwalk, the song People come every day Take in the sun and walk on its beaches Might ride in rolling chairs When they look at the brand new Think of the old days Things they used to do Atlantic City my own town I won't forget Atlantic City I'll never leave